Hello everyone, my name is Mario. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to submit assignments on Google Classroom. All right, so here's just a plain uh, page, so it's a blank page. We're gonna to need to go to uh, Classroom. So we're gonna to go to Classroom, classroom.google.com, okay? So you can see right here, these are my classes that I teach, uh, but I actually have a class that I, um, I join as a student just as a sample so that I can help you submit assignments in Google Classroom. All right, so these are my classes that I teach. So in this class, I am actually a student. One of my um, colleagues allowed me to join the class as a student. Okay, so the stream here, this is basically gonna be used as announcements, okay? so. Uh, uh, if you have um, an announcement to give to your students, then um, the stream will be uh, useful for that. So students, uh, you will find announcements on the stream. The next one here will be the classwork. And classwork is the most important one uh, because that's where you're gonna find your assignments, okay? Sometimes like before when I started teaching you guys at the beginning, um, I actually started putting things on the stream and it was a mess. So um, no more, you guys, okay? We're not gonna do that mess again. Um, classwork will be the way you organize your stuff and classwork will be the way you put your assignments and students, that's where you'll find your assignments, all right? So um, let's go ahead and go to the classwork. So for classwork right here, uh, here will be the uh, assignments listed. So I'm gonna just pick right here the first one I see. So this one is mixed factoring. So I'm gonna go right here. All right, as you can see, my assignment is missing, of course, because um, this is just a demo, right? But uh, if I was a student on the class, of course, I will always be doing my assignments. All right, so um, for this one right here, let me show you real quick. All right, so oh, how would you submit it, right? So here's how you do it, pretty easy. So let's pretend that um, I have the assignment already. Uh, you can actually just go right here, add or create. And if you have an assignment that you wanna submit from your Google Drive, uh, click Google Drive, okay? Uh, if you have a link that you wanna, um, attached like from Google Docs or Google Slides, then you'll go right here. If there's a file on your computer, then you can go right here. Now you can also create a new file, which is awesome. So if you were given an essay, then you, you wanna start a Google Docs, right? If you wanna do a Google Slides, like a presentation that uh, a teacher assigned you, then you'll go there and a drawing or Google Sheets. But let's pretend that it's a file that you already uh, um, uh, finish your homework so you're ready to submit your mixed factoring assignment so you just go to file all right and then you can go to browse of course okay and notice right here is it uh, attaching to uh, to my assignment and notice here that uh, it, this one is already attached okay this is my uh, my image that I attach so if you want to uh, add a new file let's, let's say that the homework was three pages long right then you can go to browse your computer and now you have two files that have been attached to your assignment okay um if you want to create on top of that like a new uh, document so like, let's pretend that this was the um the work that you show for your math problems and here was like a summary of what you learned then you can do that create a google docs for that all right so now the most important thing right now you're gonna have to make sure you hit turn in but before that um it's important for you to see a class comment so if you want to um address all the other students uh you can put a class comment over here so like you can say did anyone get a question you know number two or something like that right and then you can click this one and then it's going to post it to everyone now if you just want to send something private to your teacher right you just go right here. So like you can, you can say, um, can you go over number two in class, right? And it could be just something else as well, but I, I put this as an example. Um, and notice that private comments, uh, only we can see as teachers here, the class comments, of course, anyone can see it. But if you're ready to submit, you all you have to um, do is just go right here to turn in and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna turn it in? And then you go and click turn in and voila, okay? Now let's pretend that you are using uh, like Cami or something like that, you wanna make a change, you wanna uh, unsubmit it. So you just click unsubmit right here, unsubmit, right? And that is already completed, all right? So you can actually take this out, take this out, 
as you can see right here, uh, my assignment was completed. If for some reason there's no attachment um, for this assignment, you can just click right here, mark as done, right? And you can say, I completed my assignment. It's always important for you to write mark as done so that we as teachers, we can see that your work is turned in. Otherwise, we are not able to see it. So please make sure you're hitting this button right here, mark as done. And if you have attached a file, then you hit submit, All right? So there it is, that is done right there. All right, well, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy um, uh, watching this and I hope this was useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that more people can view this content so we can keep helping students and teachers. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope this tutorial was useful. Don't forget to hit the like button. Um, that will help other students view this content. All right, well, this is Mario. I will see you on the next video.